Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about little habits you can implement into your life to make your life a little bit simpler. So the first habit is setting your to-dos the night before. So writing down a list of two, three, four different things that you want to get done, writing them down the night before stops you from having the procrastination mindset where you're like, oh, I don't really feel like doing that today. I'll do it another day because you've said it the night before, you've set your intentions. And for me, I like taking things off. Having that list of things that I already have set to do helps me be productive and also make my life simple with the whole decision making thing in the morning. The next thing is storing everything vertically. So this applies for clothes, books, makeup palettes, anything like that. So essentially it just makes it easier to find what you're looking for. So for clothes, if you've got things stacked vertically, you can easily just reach in and get the top that you want. Or say for makeup palettes, everything's stacked vertically, you can easily just grab it up. Because if things are stacked on top of each other, it finds it, well, it is harder to grab a makeup palette or clothes from the bottom of the pile because everything on top will move. Whereas when things are vertically, you can see what you want and easily just pull it out. Same with books. You can see the book that you want to grab, pull it out rather than things being stacked on top of each other. I also find this keeps my space cleaner. So for my clothes, I'll show you a before picture before I decluttered and before I started folding things vertically. It's a little hard to see, but you can see that everything is just thrown into the shelves. Whereas now things are stacked vertically for the clothes that I fold stack vertically and I can easily just see what I want, grab what I want and I have no trouble of stacking things, things being stacked on top of each other then when I pull something out it gets lost at the back, things like that. So stacking things vertically allows you to see what you have and easily pick out what you want to get. So for my clothes I fold it in the KonMari way and I'll link an article down below on how I actually fold them but essentially folding everything vertically, folding everything and storing it vertically makes it easier and simpler to find what you want to find. So the next thing is cleaning a little bit every day. So just doing like 10 minutes of cleaning in your space allows you to keep your space clean as well as finding everything simple. So just things like putting clean washing away or putting your dirty, lawn, dirty washing in the laundry, putting the makeup that you've used where it belongs, just doing a little bit every day. The next thing is turning off notifications both on your phone and on your laptop. So this is for any social media, text messages, email, anything like that. So by turning it off, it stops you from being distracted by everything and having the thing, your phone or laptop, make a noise and you stopping what you were doing and moving to check your phone or check your laptop and see what's going on. And it removes you from being in the moment so by turning your notifications off sure you might miss out on a couple of snapchats but realistically you're not really going to miss out on anything urgent so by turning the notifications off it makes it simpler to stay on task and also just makes life not as jumpy to each different task you're not going from one task to your phone and you're not just being a slave to your phone the next thing is focusing on one goal or one to do at one time. So this simplifies the mental processing you have for that specific goal or specific to do and you don't end up with like five unfinished goals or unfinished to do's. You get the one done and then you can move on to the next one. It allows you to put your full focus and full energy into that one goal or one to do and get that completely done before you move on to the next one. And by doing this, you're not spreading yourself out thin. So the last thing is managing your spendings. So this can be automating transfers. So this can be for bills. So you don't have to worry about missing a payment or it can be transfers into specific accounts, whether it be for emergencies or just savings. You can also track your spendings and write down the income and what you're actually spending. So you can see when you're not spending on things that align with your values or bring you joy and you can alter how you are spending the money in the future to make sure you're not spending so much money on what you don't want to be. 
So that was everything and I hope you enjoyed listening to these different little habits that you can do to simplify your life. Before I actually end the video, I want to apologize for my inconsistency this year, but hopefully I will be back on a consistent schedule. And to those of you who are still watching, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, then you might enjoy my how to break bad habits video. I'll link that at the end of the video and also down below. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.